Hi everyone and welcome back. Um, not expecting anyone to be around but I just wanted to step on now because I was making some vegan lemon curd. So I thought maybe it'd be interesting to see how I make it. Okay. Right. It's very unusual sort of bits and pieces on the lemon curd. Obviously there's no eggs which is what you find in usual lemon curd. Um, but I will put you down to the pan so you can see what's going on and uh, show you what I'm doing. Right, in the pan here, I will add three tablespoons of corn flour. Obviously everyone knows this is a thickening agent, so this is what's going to thicken our, our gorgeous lemon curd, okay? To that I add 100 ml of cold water plus a tablespoon. Right, let's turn that on, turn it right down. Right, you just want to mix that in to get rid of the lumps really. I so surprised at this recipe, I must admit. I never thought I'd, I'd be able to get a vegan lemon curd that I actually liked. I bought one, but I didn't like it. There's a lump of something in there I don't want. Right, so that's quite smooth. So into that, I add the uh, zest of two lemons and one orange. You can do all lemons if you want, but I like a bit of a mixture. So let's pop that in there. There you go. All right, add to that is 200 ml of freshly squeezed orange and lemon juice. Use the fruit, fruits that you've taken the zest from. We need exactly 200 ml. So in that goes. This still amazes me how good it is. And uh, I've got a few friends that will uh, vouch for that one. There you go. Now you just want to stir in at the moment because you don't want any lumps appearing with the uh, corn flour because once they're in, they are quite hard to get rid of in this recipe. I mean, with this, you can adapt it a little to uh, make lemon, uh, lemon meringue pie, which is a favourite here. And I would like to do that one live. I'd like to do meringue live, but it will be a bit noisy if I do that. Okay. Added to that, I have between 180 to 200 grams of granulated sugar. It depends how bitter sweet your fruit is. So start with 180 and see how it goes. You can always add extra sugar at the end. All right, we just wait for that sugar to dissolve now. I hope you're all having a lovely day. I've been sat, I've got a couple of recipes that are going up and uh, just taking some pictures of my mince slice so I can put the recipe up for that one. It's always nice to someone kindly get all my ingredients ready for me, which is something I'm not very good at at the moment. Right, you will see that it starts to thicken. Right, this is the most surprising ingredient more. We have ground turmeric. Now, yes, turmeric. Um, it doesn't actually give you any flavour at all in the curd. All it does is provide you with some gorgeous colour. You only want a little bit. You don't want to go over the top of it. That should be enough. If you need a little bit more, you can add to it. You can always add, but you can't take away. Right, I'm going to switch to a whisk now. And we are nearly there. 
this will keep in the fridge for roughly two weeks in a kiln or jar something like that airtight container I love it in the mornings I have it on some fruit and yogurt and I just top it with a little bit of this I can say it's just starting to thicken I hope you're enjoying the recipes I'm putting up I mean the one I did for the the mint slices I've just put a picture up of that one and they are absolutely gorgeous I just want them out my way I want to freeze them get rid of temptation I can see little dogs noses at the other side of the door they just want to see what's going on I cannot cook in a kitchen with those two I'd like to say thank you again for all of your you know kind wishes and lovely messages I didn't actually intend to do a live today I just thought I'd never actually done this one so I thought somebody might be interested to see what's done it's just starting to thicken now let it boil we've only got another two, in two ingredients to add now this is the actual base of it so anyone got any comments or any questions just give me a shout always available to answer questions it's the only way you'll learn is by asking right there we go it's just starting to thicken up now so you want to turn that right down you don't want to burn it It smells divine, I must admit. Mine, I love the, the flavour, I love the smell, anything to do with lemons. Right, to that we add 60 mils of dairy-free milk. Doesn't matter which one you add. I usually use oat because that's what I normally use for my tea and coffee. Okay, there we go. Sorry about the steam here. What you'll find it's quite liquid to start with, but once you put it in the fridge, once it's cooled down, it will start to thicken again. It's also lovely if you do a sort of lemon sandwich cake to have in the middle with some uh, buttercream right the last one I have 70 grams of vegan butter in it goes thank you it is yum and it's so easy it's so easy I mean you can see in the fat the pan now how glossy it's getting It's not going to um, go lumpy now because the butter's in it. And it's so quick. I remember doing it the, uh, the non-vegan way um, because I had chickens at one point. And it was a nightmare. You're always afraid you're going to end up with scrambled lemon eggs. But this, it's just yum, as someone says. And there you have it. Just let that give a couple of minutes bubble. And then you can see it without all the steam here. The best thing I bought was this little uh, induction hob for doing demonstrations. Right, some steam will go in now and you can see it. Look at the gloss on it. Isn't that gorgeous?
be careful when you actually put it in a container one make sure your jar is sterilized and two don't put hot lemon curd into cold jars let me just turn you up a bit so i can see you i did that the other week i put a lemon curd in a cold jar and it just shattered the first time that's ever happened to me so and there is your wonderful lemon curd i will show you when it's all thickened up anyway but the recipe is on the blog um i think i've got it as saint clement's curd because it's a mixture of the orange and lemon but i'd love to see your attempts at trying it you know and there we go these are the ones i've got to keep out the way these beauties here now i love miss pies but these taste so much better maybe because they're bigger i'm not a sweet fan i, I like pastry so there's a lot more pastry in that than raisin mint pie i hope you enjoyed the demonstration and if there's anything at all you want to see me make please give me a yell because I'll always have a go at everything, even if I've never made it before. I'm going to knock up a couple of uh, savoury recipes now. And next week, that begins most of the Christmas recipes, which will end up, I will be doing a live um, cooking show, which will be fun. So it'd be lovely to have you all with me. Um, if you like the video, go on to my Facebook uh, sorry, go on to my YouTube. Give me a big like and subscribe. I would love that. And uh, let's spread the word. Share, 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 share. Okay, my lovelies, I am off now. So I will see you again later. Bye.